After Cromont's upset against Independence in the semifinals, the Scots fell short in the CCS championships. So if you look at the, the San Jose teams, the BBAL teams, even though those guys were, uh, were seeded number one, um, that's, that's the best team in the tournament. The reality is those guys should be playing in the top division and people just have to understand that's a different level of football. So for as much as we've been able to do in a short time, uh, making that jump is it's pretty big. It's amazing, man. And like I told them, you know, I, you know, tonight was rough, and those guys are a very good football team. They were a physical team. They came in to play. They wanted the championship just as bad as we did. We made some mental errors. Uh, we weren't totally clocked in and dialed in. And I think uh, the biggest part was us not being mentally checked in. Because if you're not mentally checked in, especially against a team that's very physical, it's gonna it's gonna bounce right back and come back at you. Just try to try to make a few plays and get a drive and put a drive together. And in spots we did, and in spots we didn't, and these are just the realities. When you don't want to play at a high level, sometimes things like this are going to happen. We can do this game again. I think sticking to what we knew. We tried some new stuff. It wasn't working. If we started that at the beginning of the game, I think we could have had a better handle on it. When we're down, it's hard. It's hard for us to keep it going. It is. And with the crowd behind us, it just it makes it so much easier. It helps us keep our heads up even when we're down. We put in the work. Other teams don't. That's how we got here this year. I really appreciate everything that the kids did and we just hope we can keep pushing it forward. You know, we never gave up. This game, we held our heads high and we tried to push through. The Scots finished their last game with the final score of 38-0. Reporting from Scott Center News, I'm Brianna McDonald.